Good evening. Oh, my mic died. I always come back. Does that always happen? Or is it just me? Okay. Um, so, welcome to podcast number 300. And uh, I never thought we'd get this far. Um, but we have got this far, and you have all turned up, and it's amazing. So thank you for being part of this, and thank you for enabling me to podcast for 10 whole years, which is exactly how long it is. Um, we're going to proceed with the very first track that I played on podcast one. I think that's a very fitting way to start. Um, I'm not going to give any shouts in this podcast, I'm just going to mix for about half an hour, and then we might have a few guests drifting in, so um, you can get your heads down and really enjoy yourselves, but I'm going to kick off with Key Project, Living with Beaker, the Total Science Remix. <laughs> And if you listen carefully when the vocals come in, they actually say, Tony, God, you're boring. It's got a 108 bar intro. Oh, by the way, everybody, make some noise for David Attenborough. He's 90! Amazing Leanne Carroll on vocals. Who was round my house today? And we were working on some fast soul music.
Yes Podcast crew, make some noise for yourselves, come on. some noise if your love affair has ended one person don't worry there'll be another one soon listening to some low frequency waveforms. What are you saying? Should we reload Randomer? <laughs> we need to start an online petition to get Randomer to make drum and bass again. He's making techno for too long. 
It needs to be done. Everybody, Facebook him, Twitter him, Instagram him, Snapchat him. Welcome to my state-of-the-art Sonic Laboratory. That's right. You've caught me listening to some low frequency waveforms. Massive shout out to everyone who is tuning in on the live stream worldwide. Welcome to Hospital Podcast, episode 300. My name is London Electricity.
cannot forget Mr. Bishy. unreleased bootleg by High Contrast. A man who is starring at our next big London event, Hospitality in the Park at Finsbury Park. All day, late into the night, September the 24th. And you have no idea what other surprises we have in store. Yes, good people of work in Angel, how are you feeling? Feeling like Katrina with no FEMA Like Martin with no Gina Like a flight with no visa First class with the seat back, I still see ya In my pants, you on the other side of the glass of my memories museum I'm just saying Hey Mona Lisa Come home You know you can't roam As Without
So, in true celebratory podcast style, we thought we'd line up a few special guests, see what they're up to. So, first on the chopping block, the man over here, we call him Etherwood. Make some Hello. noise now, come on, make some noise, make some Hello, noise. Hello, everybody. How's it going out there? Everyone well? Are you okay? Swan Vest, good to see you, buddy. So I'm going to have to stand over here and you're going to have to stand all the way over there. Yeah, that's okay. The wonders of technology, isn't it? That's it, yeah. So, um, so Woody. Yes, Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi. Um, now, Woody's just been working very, very hard on, on a remix of a track from my album, Are We There Yet? Which I will play in a little while, because he only finished it Ooh. like last night or something. It was this morning, actually. This yeah. morning, yeah. yeah. And it yeah. Is, it's rather good. This is Etherwood and Royalston from the 10 Years of Med School album. Eyes on me. Hey, hey. Woody, that sounds so kind of. I'm not being sexist, but it sounds really manly. Do you know what I mean? That was, I tried very hard to get that tone. It goes with your beard. Thank you. Okay, so the um, the music lovers out there are still basking in the glory of blue leaves. Hope, hopefully. Okay, how many people think that Blue Leaves is one of the best chill out albums ever made? And one of the best drum and bass albums ever made? Thank you, everybody. And Woody has not been sitting around growing his beard. Oh, no. not, not entirely, no. Well, he has actually. That but is all I've been doing actually for, for the last four months. He's been quite busy on, on a remix journey, and um, I'm going to play you two exclusives. Woohoo! Woody has got his hands on one of the classics of the hospital catalogue from about the last five years. It's the title track from Spy's first album. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, it's like it's just, yeah. like, just one of those little ones you roll out, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Um, some people might be too terrified and scared to remix this track, but not Etherwood. What the future holds by Spy, the Etherwood remix. Are you ready for this? Hospital Podcast World Exclusive. Let's check this out. I can feel you everywhere. Wherever I go, you're there. I only need to tell myself. <laughs>
What do you reckon? Thank the Lord for the amen break. Absolutely, amen to that. So, so Woody, apart from doing remixes amazingly, um, I know that you've been up to something else, but are you even allowed to talk about it? I don't know if you are allowed to talk about it. Um, yeah, I have. I can talk about it. Um, can you? Um, yeah, I think so. I'm training to be a wizard, everybody. He's not joking either. No, that's not, that's not, that was just a joke. It's actually a witch, isn't it? And, um, and we're not being witches, so massive shout out to all the witches out there. Honestly, like, compliance is so hard these days. So, are you going to be a wizard at Hospitality in the Park? Well, you'll have to wait and see. Are you going to be one of those scary blue guys who walks around selling blues? I don't think I'll be scary, no. I'll just be the weird old guy looking guy in the corner. I don't know how I'm going to look old. <laughs> Maybe I'll be a really good wizard by then, you know. I think you might be. I'm looking forward to your spells. Who knows? Who knows? The odd hex or two. Definitely. Okay, we're going to move on to the third and last piece of Etherwood exclusiveness now. And this came through this morning. Woody has remixed from my album, Are We There Yet? Impossible to say. Featuring Pete Simpson on vocals. And I should at this point say... Pete Simpson has been through a journey this year. Um, he had quite a serious form of cancer at the beginning of the year. He had a bone marrow transplant. It was a successful operation. And he assures me that he is going to be back behind the mic very, very soon. So can we show some love for Pete Simpson, please? So, Woody... I think your, your work is excellent at the moment. Um, you're doing a brilliant job. You haven't told anybody anything about what you're going to be doing, which is fantastic as well. I know. I love that. I'm, I'm bottling it up inside my hat. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Edward Allen, a.k.a. Edward! Thank you, thank you.
and it's time to introduce my next guest. This, this guy over here, this is Own Glow. Yo, yo. Sam, how you doing, man? Yeah, mate, I'm good. How are you? I'm extremely happy. Thank you very much. Jeez, a little vibe All the happier yes. for you being here. And this, of course, is Unglow's track on Hospital Records. Not like me. From the future sound of the North America EP. Now, Sam, we've got quite a lot to talk about, so you yes, have to forgive yes, me for do. pulling the music down. <laughs> um, first of all, why did you come to London, and how, um, how did you do it? Well, I saved up money from like working four jobs, and I moved over here at uh, 17. Now being 19, um, you know, just writing drum and bass. That was pretty much the goal, just to keep making tunes. So you came here when you were 17 years old? Correct. <laughs> just to make drum and bass? Yeah, honestly, if... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I dropped out. Of, I dropped out of school in order to um, pursue music, which is a horribly short-sighted idea. I'm, I'm turning the music <laughs> off so we can really, really hear this. So, everybody out there, everybody listening worldwide, everybody listening to the playback. This guy, he was 17 years old. And w where were you living at the time? Uh, I was in Flagstaff, Arizona. Okay, deepest Arizona. Right? <laughs> yes. Grand how's Canyon. The, how's the drum and bass scene in Arizona? Uh, there's literally nothing. Um, oh, wait, actually, no, big up Gas, Don McDonald, the only one representing. Wicked. So <laughs> why, if there was no scene, why were you making drum and bass and what, what drew you to so it was, our native musical language? It was B-Complex, UKF and B-Complex, Beautiful Lies. <laughs> Massive shout to B-Complex. And did you see her set? At Brixton. Smashed it. Absolutely, Absolutely smashed it. amazing. She tore the place apart. Absolutely fantastic. Big up B-Complex. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> totally progressive, totally fun, totally brilliant. So, you were in Arizona. You, you were like, I love drum and bass, but it's not going to happen if I'm here. Correct, yeah. So, you thought, you're going to come to London. And yeah, you, and you just did. Yeah, I packed up all my stuff, moved out here, and uh, I guess I... Did the right decision. I'd say you probably did make the right decision. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah! We welcomed you with open arms, Own Glow. Thank you. So, truth be told, you have an EP coming up. I do. I didn't know if I was allowed to talk about it, but yes. Well, if I'm going to play some of it, you better talk about it. Yep. <laughs> Who wants to hear something brand new and exclusive from the debut Own Glow? EP on Hospital Records. <laughs> Sam, I'm going to play Angel Sing. Is there anything you want to say about this track? Uh, it was wrote out on LA in the middle of a train journey from San Diego to LA. And honestly, I think it's one of my best tracks yet. So, I agree. You can decide. I hope you got your scorecards ready, everyone. You can do it with your fingers, it's fine.
podcast crew, what are we saying about the new own glow? Oi, oi. I know, I know that I should know when it's coming out, Sam. But when's it coming out? I'm not quite sure yet. When is it coming out? <laughs> It's coming out before the autumn, or as Sam would call it, fall. Fall, <laughs> fall is when everyone falls over in America. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So good. This is the best thing about my job is discovering new talent, nurturing new talent, and they come through with a tune like this. It's absolutely amazing. Sam, big yourself up. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna play another cut from the forthcoming Anglo EP. It's called Stress and Strain. Um, Sam, is there any kind of story behind the title? Why is it called Stress and Strain? Um, well, honestly, it was because I was stressed for the deadline of the EP, and uh, I was straining to make a, a good song, so here yeah. you go. <laughs> we, we do work them hard at hospital, but it pays dividends, so let's do this. It's, it's a very good workflow. <laughs> There's no such thing as an easy ride in drum and bass, is there, Sam? It's well worth it. It is very well worth it. feeling I'm going to be getting you back on the podcast before too long but I mean, thank you for dropping in yes, of course thank thanks you for being so much. a part of podcast 300 it's been a pleasure to have you make some thank noise so for Onglo Okay, so the new blood has handed over the microphone to someone who is also very fresh and sprightly. Yeah. And uh, is up there with Woody in the beard stakes as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. BC. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. Steve BC, he's the, the head, the CEO, the chairman, the everything of Spearhead Records. Boom. A label we absolutely love. Thank you very much. Steve, how are you? Yeah, we're good, man. It's still good to come out as a fan of drum and bass. And uh, still loving it, man. Wicked. Absolutely. It's amazing here. So, um, Steve. Yes. I mean, we go back a, a bit of a long way, don't we? Yeah, man. And uh, for, for many of those years when you were running Spearhead, you were, you were also running a farm. 
I was, yeah. I think one of my most famous interviews now is uh, the one about saving a pig's life and then eating it later on. Yeah, and that's, that's something that probably no one here has ever done, I'd say, apart from you. It's so drum and bass, man, you know? It is. I'm not going to mention the incident where you accidentally um, hose-piped a duck's head off. We won't go there. No, nah, man, we don't want animal rights people outside the spearhead office. No, we don't. But anyway, being a farmer is, is, is not all glamour, is it? It's, um, it's quite hard work. Yeah, most of it's like getting covered head to toe in, uh, yeah, you know, enough said. So it's a bit like drum and bass, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a bit like, like being drum a DJ. And bass, but not a metaphor. Yeah, exactly. So, um, Steve, we're going to play an exclusive track. Okay, uh, wicked. That, that's coming out. Um, and uh, it's called Morning Star. It features Philippa Hanna, and it's the Break remix. Boom, yeah. Break smash this. When is this coming out? Uh, this is going to be out... Do you know what? It's not even got a release date yet. He rolled it out last week. I sent it to you because I thought, let's have a little early listen. Dub plate special. Let's do this. So happy to have some break on podcast 300. So, Steve. Yes. Since you started, we've seen many, many very, very talented and promising labels come and go. Yeah, man, it's a hard game. You what, know that. What's your secret? My secret is that uh, I'm not in this for the money. I've always, nearly always had another job. I'm an idiot, so I'll probably spend more money than I've earned. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> ah, I just love it, man, you know. Well, so I don't know what else to do, Tony. Yeah, make some noise for this man. He's real. Do you know what? I don't know what else to do either. It's like there's no choice. Yeah, my GCSEs, well, you know. So that's about it. <laughs> it's true, though. We've got 15 staff for hospital records, and I do not have a clue if any of them are qualified in anything. Because we don't look at their qualifications. I know I have to kill quite a few different animals. You do? Yeah, but... It's very, you know. very true, Steve. 
But, but as we said earlier, we maybe shouldn't go too deep into that. No. Although it could be quite, quite handy on the dance floor every now and then. But this is what we have in common. We do drum and bass, not because we choose to, but because we have to. Boom. So, when, when the first track came into my inbox this year by the Vanguard Project, oi, oi. I, I was intrigued. And, uh, and when I learned that it's you, and a certain producer known as Villa. I thought that was an absolute stroke of genius on your part. So how did that come about? It came about because I got asked to do a remix. I was in the middle of moving house and he lives up the road. Um, so we worked together on the remix and then it was like, why don't we do this more? So we have every Tuesday in the studio is the Vanguard Project. And uh, this is a result of that. Every Tuesday, I love that. Every Tuesday, like block work. Tuesday is a wicked, a wicked day to choose because if you work in drum and bass, you, you have never got a gig on a Tuesday. That's it. Or a Monday. Unless you live in Sheffield, in which case you might play at the Tuesday Club. This is brand new Vanguard project. It's called Karma. Heaven bound. Who's on vocals? Catch me when I'm full. Oh, the vocals is a. Uh... What goes around comes back around. Oh, hello, cheeky. Standing on a higher ground. The vocals is somebody you know that wanted to go unannounced. Um, Ooh. So that's that. I'm afraid. Yeah. What goes around comes back around. Back around. Back around. Yeah, we gon' bring it back harder. Run up. Quick move, fast, take cover. Stun up. Straight to the. Your gain is their loss. One up. Let elevate. Show like no other. Steve, I just want to say thank you. I think you've always been there since I've been doing the podcast. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you have. You know, we're getting old, mate. <laughs> no, we're not. Nah. We're getting younger. Exactly. It just hurts to move. But mentally, my brain's shrinking. That must mean I'm getting younger. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Thanks for being part of the scene for so long and such an important part of the scene as well because uh, it would be a lot poorer without Spearhead and without your good self. Big up Tony, thank you very much for having me. Big up everybody! Make some noise for BC now, come on!
my next guest is just about ready. Do you want to meet him? Do you know who it is? Paul, make some noise for Paul, everybody! The legendary Paul, who my Twitter fans all voted should be barbecued. I rescued Paul, he's here. He says hello, he sends his love, although all he can do is like scream at you. But we're kind of used to that now, and you know he's 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 kind of part of the family. So Paul, I'm glad you could make it. Um, I, I know you haven't made any new tunes, and uh, but don't worry, I'm not disappointed in you. I'm fully supportive of your journey. So Paul, we love you. Now, that I just got Paul in to annoy Amy, who runs our publicity department, because she absolutely hates him. Mullet hates Paul as well. I don't know why. You you love you love animals, Mullet. How can you hate Paul? It's not it's so unfair. It's so persecutionist. Um, I would like to introduce our, our our next guest, who is a producer on Hospital Records, recently signed. Again, his debut EP is coming up. This man is called Hugh Hardy. Hello. You. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for having me down here. And, and remarkably, you're uninjured, which is amazing. And in, is that re- why is that remarkable? Well, because the only videos that you post of yourself are you skateboarding and falling over. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm doing well so far this summer. No injuries, no, so I'm happy. No serious bruises, no twisted ligaments? None of that, no, no, no. Although I did have a fractured ankle for the summer barbecue last summer. And you were playing? And I was playing and I had a big leg brace and I don't think a lot of people noticed. I didn't um, notice that. Respect for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to be there. Proper soldier. We like that. This, of course, is Hugh Hardy working with Logistics. Icarus. Now, Hugh, we, we class you as one of the new school of Cambridge artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a pretty rich history from Cambridge. Absolutely. You're the latest of the bloodline. That's right, yeah. Of the future sound of Cambridge. But you have now moved to Bristol. Yeah, I have. I've been in Bristol for about two years now, so a little, little while. So, first of all, why did you move to Bristol and, and how is the drum and bass scene there? Currently. Um, I mean, pretty much the main reason for the Bristol move was for drum and bass. Um, Cambridge is a nice place, but it doesn't have that much going on for DMB. So uh, yeah, the main reason would have to be for, for the drum and bass scene. And yeah, it's good. It's really good in Bristol. There's there's constant drum and bass nights. Um, loads of producers there. Lot lot happening. Lot lot to sort of inspire you as a producer over there. I really like it. So we've got Carlos Spies move there. Fred Bing Graphics have moved there. Who else do you hang out with there for the drum bass scene? Um, Will, Will Kino. Kino's just moved. Yeah, he has. Kino's moved. Kino. And uh, yeah, there's, there's loads of others, loads of other producers and uh, MCs and yeah, a lot of cool people to hang out with. 
Kino's actually getting his mum to build his soundproofing for him. I don't, I don't, if you, don't know if you're aware of this. I'm not aware of that, but um, yeah, no, why not? you got to hand it to him. Maybe um, I'll recruit her to do mine if it works out for him. Yeah, we start do it. a business. Get on it, get on it. So Hugh is going to be playing for an hour after I finish from 10 o'clock till 11 o'clock. Yep, yep, yep. And um, I know you're going to be playing the tracks from, from your new EP. Your, your EP that I can't remember the release date of. Could you, do you know it? Yeah, June 10th. Well done. Coming up. Um, I'm actually going to play a bit of one now. You can play it again. That's all good. That's, that's like double promotion. Yeah, the, but, more, the more the better. But I really want to play this. So, brand new Hugh Hardy, world exclusive. This is called Light It Up. It's all about the drop, it's about those pianos. Let's take that drop again. It's the sound of Hugh Hardy, light it up from his forthcoming EP that's coming out early in June. Can I ask you how did you how did you get those those vocals? They sound like something from Frank Zappa or something. Just a uh, just sample from a sample pack. Not very exciting, unfortunately. Really? Because they, they sound so out there and bizarre, but they work brilliantly. Yeah, no story behind that. Just a uh, sample pack. So kids, it's not wrong to use sample packs if you use them in an original way. Amen. A, it's a bit of a hot topic on the podcast at the moment. There's a kind of rolling discussion going on about should you use sample packs or not. I say yes if you can make them your own. Yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah, if you can't use samples, then sample packs are there. And if you're not going to just copy your whole loops, if you're going to sort of chop and make on your own, it's fine. I use them all the time. That's it. Well, you proved the point.
this and work. Give me some hands. Come on. Veritable hospitality anthem by the one and only Hugh Hardy. So, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise from the man from Bristol, formerly from Cambridge, Hugh Hardy. Thanks for coming on, Hugh. Thank you for having me, Tony. And uh, again, I think we'll have to get you back in June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To go through your EP in depth, in more detail. Damn good, I can't wait. Brilliant. Enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you, man. What do you think of this tune? Paul loves this tune. He absolutely loves it. I want to see some hands. Come on. There's a certain young man over to my right who's wandered into the room. <laughs> Boris, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, Tony. Good to see you, man. Good to see you guys. Make some noise for Nick Sky! <laughs> it's a little while since you've been on the podcast, Boris. You know, um, I, I just visited the office and it's, I think it's been more than a year, man. It's so cool to, to see everything again. It's so good to see you again, so, man. So, so, so you were in the office, I oh, wasn't there today. So you came in to sign copies of your album? About a million, yeah. About a million vinyl uh, <laughs> copies, which was great. It's, it's really cool to see it because I haven't seen it in, in the flesh, so it's really good to see it. That's brilliant. So, yeah. so it's going to go platinum, basically. <laughs> Yes, Boris has been hard at work signing the vinyl copies of his album. And uh, Boris, when is your album coming out? So it's coming out on iTunes on the 3rd of June. And, 
And then one week later, we're doing the, the physical release, including Wicked. the vinyl. Fantastic. We cannot wait. Let's play something from your album. Feel free to join in. So Boris, it's been a journey making this album, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I had to look it up on Wikipedia, but it's been four years. So I thought it was going to be shorter, but it's been four years since the last album. It is four years, yeah. Jesus. So you have put so much work into this album, and I'm very, very happy to tell you all, Boris has brought an exclusive along with him. Hold tight, drop. Okay, so it doesn't get much fresher than this. Brand new next guy from his forthcoming album. Boris, tell me about this tune. So this song I, I recorded with Emily Sunday. It's, it's one of my favorite tunes on the album um, and she just absolutely killed him in the vocals. I think she's, she's one of the most amazing English vocalists so I'm so happy to work with her. I hope you guys like it. This is called Thunder. And it's faster than an airplane You can try to keep on running But no one can dodge the rain There's a fire and it's burning Lighting up like a volcano You can try to ignore it You can try Hey, did you feel the earthquake? Did you feel it?
absolutely classic next guy drum and bass featuring Emily Sunday. It doesn't really get much better than that, Boris. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You must be so happy. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you. So Boris, what is happening with Next Guy Live? What's the plan? Oh man, I, we're going to keep doing it. I, I want to be I want to be the first drum and bass live act to conquer America, kind of. That's that's the next step. Okay, so you're going to be the Christopher Columbus of drum and bass. <laughs> I hope so, man. I hope so. And when does that start? When does the invasion begin? I mean, I'm thinking about like leaving for LA for a little while in October for like a couple of months. So I think that's the start of the plan. So we're going to start that. So a couple of months to LA? Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll start with a couple of months, but I, I want to keep visiting it. Maybe make it a second base. Who knows? Oh, OK, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's cool. And uh, do you think they're ready for you? Do you think they're ready for Next Guy Live to, to really tour? I mean, it's going to be a hard journey. You, you can tell in America, like with, with the EDM scene over there, it's quite hard to break into it without playing four by four music. But um, yeah, it's 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 definitely an inter interesting journey, and it's it's something I want to spend some time and, and yeah, invest in. It's, and, uh, and are you going to tour hard like a rock and roll band? Are you gonna you gonna play all those cities around oh, the USA? Every time. Every time we tour, I think we're gonna like take it a down a notch. But every time it gets worse, man. You know Babel, you know Michael. Well, <laughs> you know Babel. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it with. Oh him. yes, <laughs> we've got a new, a new tour manager as, as well. That really doesn't help. So yeah, <laughs> I, I hope I'll survive the next tour. And every tour, I'll, I'll look at it again. Well, every good band should be a totally dysfunctional family, <laughs> and I think you've achieved that. Yeah. This, of course, is Rio by Netsco, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for next guy, come on! And Boris, we wish you from the bottom of our hearts all the best with next guy three. Thank you so much, man. I hope it's going to be massive. I hope it's going to be a huge success. You totally deserve it. Thanks so much. Wherever she goes, I go. We roll, we go. Flying over cities down to Rio. It's Rio, love that I feel. Oh, nothing lasts forever, but I'm down for the minute. So just chill. Wherever she goes, I go. We roll, we go. Flying over cities down to Rio. It's Rio, love that I feel. Oh, nothing lasts forever, but I'm down for the minute. So just chill. It's all about the horn riff, isn't it? It's amazing! Wherever she goes, I go, we roll, we go Flying over cities down to Rio, it's Rio Love that I feel, oh nothing lasts forever But I'm down for the minute, so just chill Wherever she goes, I go, we roll, we go Flying over cities down to Rio, it's Rio Over cities down to Rio, it's Rio. Love that I feel. Oh, nothing lasts forever, but I'm down for the minute, so just chill. Wherever she goes, I go, we roll, we go. Flying over cities down to Rio, it's Rio. Love that I feel. Oh, nothing lasts forever, but I'm down for the minute, so just chill. so much guys I want to say shout out to Hospital Records shout out to everybody here thank you so much big up Tony big up Chris Goss big up Hospital Records and big up every one of you guys thank you so much <laughs> Boris thank you for that now I'm going to queue up some tunes so um, 
in the podcast that we like to prove that it's actually live. And uh, there's no pre-record going on whatsoever. So um, talk amongst yourselves for about 30 seconds. Okay, there are two people here tonight who actually met because of tonight and have bonded and made friends. I met them earlier. So, um, you know, you're all on the same page. You can kind of like, a couple of you might get married, you know, you never know. Now, where was I? Okay, I know. Just one second, I know, I know exactly where I was. And the struggle continues.
Now I ain't gonna let you go I hold on Yes, Pogos crew, make some noise for Steve Links now. Yeah. Okay, time for a little workout, time for some exercise, let's do this. We're warming up, it's gonna get a double time. Are you ready?
are 10 minutes and counting. Who wants to be heard? Make some noise! You, never be heard, never heard before. It's an exclusive from Urban Dawn from Sao Paulo. <laughs> we are spoiling you tonight, but you deserve it.
The only thing to ever change is the feeling out of range Pushing all the right buttons, I can feel it through the flames Drawing me closer at the same time pushing me Building me up but at the same time crushing me Bittersweet symphony, falling no cushioning Impatience take out, premature rushing in It never starts where it begins We was made to fly so that's why my heart's one on my wings And that's regardless of my sins and everything that comes with them My life's a drummer but with no rhythm But I won't give in, I feel closer than I've ever been Banging on the door till someone lets me in You see regrets begin, where happiness is dying down Struggling, deciphering who's lying now Until I'm lying down, the only thing you'll get is me Change the system or just let it be a tune to end podcast 300 with actually do you know what there is one tune that is better than this tune and I'm going to play it last I'm going to play it for you because this is exactly how I feel about everyone here tonight and how I feel about everybody watching around the world on the live screen thank you for being with us. Thank you for being part of Podcast 300. I'm going to hand the reins over to Hugh Hardy. But before that, who wants one more tune? This has been a Hospital Records production. You have been in the company of London Electricity for the last two hours. Featuring a host of special guests. But ladies and gentlemen, you have been the main part of this show. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart.
Cuba.